Hello everyone and welcome again here on my channel Cheerful Dev. I hope you are doing well, I hope you are doing good and I hope you are having a beautiful week. If not, remember guys, it will always get better, just never give up and keep doing what you do. Uh, so, uh, before we start this video, I'd like to ask you guys a question. Uh, a quick question, you will find the poll in the top corner there. Uh, I need you to vote about something important guys and it is a Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So, uh, before we start creating games, we need to learn how we can make some design, right? We need to create some characters, some UA design and stuff like this. So uh, I'd like to do a, a, a small tutorial series where we will be talking about how we can uh, use uh, uh, Illustrator's uh, tools, uh, the shapes and everything, and how we can use them to create characters and stuff like this, so we can start making our first uh, 2d game so if you uh, agree to do this click on the top corner in the video you will find uh, this uh, little box there there is a question and you answer yes or no do you want an illustrator tutorial series if not i will not do it if you do i will gladly guys do it because it is for you and i really really appreciate your support and i really thank you so much guys for supporting this channel and if you are new here guys hit the subscribe button <laughs> and like this video if you do like what you do of course and let's get started with this video so uh, in this one here we are going to see uh, how we can use the new and the features that uh, was introduced by unity and it is the 2d light so as you can see here we have a, a scene here and everything here is uh, using some source of light and that is just the unity to the light so as you can see there is those blooming and stuff like this all this stuff here it's only just to the stuff and uh, in this video i'd like to explain to you how you can use this in your project so uh, when you create a new project in unity uh, you need to make it let me just open unity hub here for you guys so when you click on this new button here to create a new project you need to pick this universal uh, project template here so it means it, it's it will be using the universal uh, pipeline so render pipeline so you can use this one here don't do this high definition render pipeline because this will need a beautiful and an amazing computer just use the this one here universal project uh, template create uh, give your project a name or anything that you want and you hit the create button and it will gener generate a, a project for you once you've done that unity will open up and make sure guys that you are using the last version of unity uh, check the link in the top corner here or link in the description so you can install uh, the new version of unity it is really uh, amazing and it's the latest release and it's uh, official guys so go ahead and download it and use it however you want now we uh, to use the universal render pipeline guys go to the window here and you pick this uh, package manager and once you've done this you click all package and you check this all package here check this one here and it will load to you all the packages in the previous one in unity and i'd like you to try and find universal render pipeline just here you select it and here it will show up this install and if you have an older version you will click to the, uh, this up to date uh, I'm, I'm up to date right now of course because i'm using the latest version here as you can see so once you click this install button here and you have uh, the universal render uh, pipeline ready for you guys to be used all you have to do now is to go to your asset uh, area so to go to your project panel here and you do a right click you pick uh, create you go to rendering and here you will find this universal render pipeline and i'd like you to pick the pipeline asset forward renderer so once you select this one here it will create this one here for you guys uh, just hit ok or anything and as you can see it will create for us those universal render pipeline assets and this universal render pipeline assets renderer so those stuff here guys they are really easy to use and those uh, all we need to start using the universal render pipeline and now that we finished the creating the configuration for our uh, project here what we need to do is to make our game here uh, in uh, the hierarchy and stuff like this we need to make sure that our game will be using the universal render pipeline correctly so to do this guys uh, all we have to do is to go uh, to the edit here and to find our project settings let me just find it here where is it 
so we are going to click the project settings here and here I'd like to go to the graphic area here of course so we can make sure we are using the uh, render pipeline assets universal as you can see here it's the one we just created here you click in this place and you select it from this menu here so there is one already existing here uh, from the preview package uh, from unity but let's go ahead and select the new one that I just created so uh, I will close it and as you can see the feeling in this game changed dramatically guys because uh, I just picked a new uh, one that I just created right now so everything changed and everything will start to be rendering from the start so this is how it will look like in your game so you will have these uh, dark colors and we need now to add lights and to play with this light to make our projects looks better now if you get any errors or if you find that you have some uh, weird color in your project like some weird stuff showing up in your project here and there like you can see this tree here or there is some uh, pink color or blue color uh, it's okay guys it's just uh, like your project is trying to adapt to you to the universal render pipeline all you have to do of course is to go to edit here and you will find the render pipeline here you find the universal render pipeline and you click this upgrade project material to universal render pipeline once you do this it will ask you to proceed and you do this uh, one here and it will correct everything in your project hopefully it will work for you great now all we have to do is to make sure that our projects will be using uh, the universal render pipeline uh, amazingly in our project uh, all we have to do guys of course is just to uh, go to the project area here you click uh, right click again you go to create you try to find the rendering the universal render pipeline and this time you will pick this 2d render it's still in an uh, experimental uh, features in unity but it works really great so i would pick this one here and here we have this 2d render here as you can see in this area here and now all we have to do is to uh, add our new 2d render to our universal render pipeline here so i will uh, uh show this general area here all we have to do here and we select this dot here and we assign to it our uh, new 2d so this is the new one we created this is the new 2d render data so just to make sure that we are going to select the right one so this is the one we want and i will go here and you can just click this one and drag it in this area directly so we will have something like this and as you can see our project changed uh really really cool and uh, this is this is already better from the previous one and if you find any weird color again like uh, you have some uh, blue color or pink color in your uh, project all you have to do again to go to the edit uh, pick uh, where is it again <laughs> uh, go to the render pipeline you find the uni uh, universal render pipeline here and you hit the upgrade project material to the universal uh, pipeline so this way we will have everything cool in our projects and now we are ready guys to play with the 2d light uh, so let's get started and let's see how we can use this light right so let me zoom in on my character here as you can see this is the little girl i have here uh, let me just click like this because i did a movement that i didn't want to do and this is our player character so her name is sarah uh, she is the hero in this game the lost uh, crisp and now what I'm going to do is really easy guys here on my hierarchy I will do a right click and we can go to light and you will find this 2d light and here we have a lot of types of 2d lights uh, of course all of them they are still uh, experimental guys so you but they work really perfect guys so don't worry now you can test with those stuff and do whatever you want so let's say uh, i will pick this free form light 2d just for the beginning uh, so we can test this stuff here so here i have uh, this one and i will pick my move tool so i can move it and as you can see it's already affecting our uh character here right so you can see we are showing some lights here so let me just move it on top of my character here and if, uh, look, notice with me on the inspector area we have some types so there is the light type of course you can click here and change it 
from free form to sprite to point to anything that you want uh, we can make the fall off bigger or smaller we can change like everything we want here we can play with those basically and uh, you can change even the color let's say it will affect our character with a blue or a light color whatever you want guys and what i want to use here it's this uh, edit shape so i will click this to edit the shape of this uh, freeform here and i'd like to make this bigger so it will cover our character here and we have the hair so let's just do this and when uh, if you click in uh, any area between those dots it will create a dot automatically so i will create one here because i'd like to have this one here i will make one here for the hair this one should be around this area here let's make another one in this place here and let's move this one here and as you can see here uh, we just created a 2d light for our uh, character here if i move to the game view as you can see this is the game view we have our light and now we can see our character if i select my freeform light here if i hide it as you can see this is our character and it looks really dark but when i show the light we can see the character really uh, better and of course you can do this and add this stuff anywhere you want in the uh, project so let me just move somewhere here and as you can see there is uh, already some lights that already exist in our project so for example this is a global light let me just double click it so we can see where it is so here we have this global light here this one is imitating the shadows in this area let me just hide it and as you can see this global light of course it's a global light it will uh, give us light on the whole scene here so if i show it back as you can see we have this big light on our game here and there is a lot of materials added to this one so to make it looks better and amazing uh, we can create our own light again all you have to do is a right click you go to uh, light you pick 2d light and this time let's pick again a global light so you can see the difference this is uh, all it has uh, for now so the one we have inside our uh, projects here is using a lot of scripts so this one here is the one we just created now and it's just a simple one here it is it's not uh, it, it doesn't cover anything for now we can play with it we can make the light order bigger or smaller or anything we want the uh, blend style we can uh, change the target sorting layer this means that what are the layers that we want to affect we are going to talk about layers uh, in a future episode guys so we can see how we can use them if we pick all as you can see it will uh, give us light on the whole project as you can see here we have lights on everything here and if we change this to be like for just the cave so we will have light just for the area here and if we uh, so as you can see uh, i did uncheck the cave so if i check the cave again we will have light inside the cave if i uncheck the cave we will not have any light in this area but just in these uh, places which is uh, makes sense because we can't have lights in this area uh, because there is building here and stuff like this uh, and we of course we can pick anything let's say for the near background we can make this dark if we want to to change the feeling of the game the foreground basically you can do anything that you want with those lights you can play with them and of course we can change uh, the color for this light let's say for example we don't like this uh, color here as you can see we can make this feel uh, like there is, uh, it's an uh, there is autumn right so if i pick a color like this what should we do now we should take away uh, the this exterior here so we can just affect the trees here right so we can uh, take the default and uh, we can add another light another global light and with this light we can uh, uncheck the trees and everything and just give the light for the cave right so this way we can play with this uh, source however we want and change how our game feeling work anything that we want guys uh, that's it for this video i hope you did like what we did and um i'd be happy if you did hit the subscribe button guys uh, like if you do like what we do and hopefully i will see you guys in the next video see you soon